Welcome back guys, we're back in with the Minecraft tutorial. This time we're going to be going over how to install the mod, uh, Roguelike Adventures and Dungeons. Now first of all we're just going to go through how to install it to your PC just to play it for single player. And then we'll follow up with how to install it to your server using the Seekerhost Minecraft servers. It's a really fun mod and to be honest I've actually been playing it myself a bit so let's get into it. So let's get started and if you haven't got yourself a server yet head over to seekerhost.co They've got some really reasonably priced packages, some really good no lag servers, awesome customer support and they also got really good one click mod pack installations. Next up let's head over to curseforge.com, I'll leave the link in the description as always and just head over to Minecraft first. Now this is going to be to actually install it onto your PC and you're going to need this to actually be able to join on to anybody's server or just play your single player world. So when you come down to the list on Minecraft just hit any of them, um, doesn't really matter because it's going to bring you up onto this screen. Anyway, if you have already got the Curse Forge launcher, simply click open. If you don't, it's not going to be a problem. Uh, close this down and then you can either select whether to download it for Windows or for Mac OS. Just make sure that you have your Mojang uh, username and password handy or you remember it uh, because it's going to ask you to log in uh, once the launcher opens up. Once all installed, you're going to be brought up to the main page here and you can choose what game you actually want to get the mods for. So let's head over to Minecraft Java Edition next. Now on your mod packs, if you've just downloaded this, you're not going to have anything on this screen. You're going to have to come over to Browse Mod Packs. Simply search for Rogue in the top search bar and you're going to see top of the list is Roguelike Adventures and Dungeons. Now for you it's not going to say play, it's going to say install, so just hit install. It'll take about a few minutes, maybe up to five minutes just to install everything and that's it. That's your one click installation all done, no need to add mods or um, forge jars or anything like that. Um, simply one click and you're able to log on and play it on single player. Before we go on to installing it to the server I just want to add that you can actually check the version as well simply by coming over to these dots um, and clicking versions. You can then change over version as you can see here we've got 1.45 and if we click the list we've got the older releases too now to actually check this you can come down to the one click installation option over at Seekerhost um, and when you're actually looking at the mod packs they're going to say the version number next to them so as you can see here rogue like adventures and dragons 1.45 so we're going to know that that is going to work definitely if you are using the FTB launcher it might be worth just checking the version just in case they haven't quite updated um, as fast as curse forge does so just make sure to check the versions before you actually install it because it will make the difference difference it won't work with certain versions and certain versions will so the mods have to be compatible with the server and they've got to be a nice match so if you're using a 1.3 versions it's not going to work with 1.45 now let's get ready to install it onto our server so of course make sure that your server is stopped before you do anything like this and I'm going to assume that you're going to be using a default server if not it's going to work in exactly the same way now you can delete all the server files manually or you can of course use the setup if you want to do it manually you can come over to files then FTP file access and from here any files you can select I can select all and then just just click delete. Another way again is simply log on to FileZilla, simply select the files and then press delete. Of course do remember that if you do want to save any worlds either make a backup. You can do this pretty easily by just going down to the backup option from the files, start your backup and then once you've created your backup head over to FTP file access, select the world and then click download. However you don't actually need to do any of that, it has been made even more simple here at Seekerhost. Simply if you have your server stopped come down to the jar file. So we're going to go for the roguelike adventures and dungeons. Make sure to save that and then we're going to go ahead over over to files we're going to go to setup from here select the configure server from OTD and you can select delete all server files also that will delete any old server files before this gets installed so you don't even have to delete them manually so simply pop in your password and click apply once you click apply it's going to bring you to this screen so this is going to um, happen on the next server startup so now if we head back to Seekerhost server and we start our server back up we're going to have it on the right jar file and also on the right setup so it's going to configure all of them settings in there for you now be aware this is quite quite a large mod pack so it might take 10 maybe 15 minutes just to download into your server it'll probably be about the same time that it does uh, for your pc on the curse forge launcher so sit back relax for a minute grab yourself a drink um, and it will be done very shortly so a short while later you're going to notice that you've got a tick come up on your server which means that you're able to join so go to your curse forge app and select play on the mod pack once you press play on the launcher you're going to be brought up to the main screen again don't worry if it takes a long time to load it is a huge mod pack so even if you've got a really good pc it's going to take a long time to load it up now we're simply going to head down to the multi player and we're going to go to add server here just type in your server address click done and you're going to see your server up here and it's also got the tick which means that you've got the right mods on your pc and also the right mods in your server so let's just go ahead and uh, join server and make sure that it's all working properly and now you and all your friends can now join on on your server awesome we've loaded up and it seems that we've 
Oh no, we haven't loaded up in a tree, but we've loaded up somewhere and it looks pretty cool. The mod pack has installed successfully and we can now go ahead and play the game. So thanks for watching guys. For any more tutorials like this, make sure to follow the channel or check it out on the Seekhost knowledge base. We got lots of tutorials from making a skyblock server, adding lots of different mod packs, adding single mods and anything else you might need to know. So thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you again on the next Minecraft tutorial. Don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe if you haven't already. We've got lots of different tutorials from how to change things on your server, add plugins, add mod packs or single mods and whatever you might want to do with your minecraft world so thanks again for watching and we'll catch you next time bye bye